Hi guys, it's Luke again, and today I'm going to show you how to secure shell into your jailbroken iPad. And you might have heard the term uh, secure shell or the abbreviation SSH, and it's just a way to log into your iPad to uh, transfer files or issue commands or do other things like that. And the easiest way to, to do that is to uh, install a program called OpenSSH onto your iPad from the Cydia store. And the way that you do that is go into Cydia. Let it load the repository sources and whatever it needs to do. And once the spinning wheel has completed, go ahead and touch on search. And I'm going to wait for my reloading data to complete here. and then just search for open SSH and you should find it touch it and if you uh, just jailbroken your iPad you won't have this installed so on the upper right hand corner right under the battery charging indicator you'll see install so you would touch that and install this uh, package I already have done that so that's why mine says modify once you're done, you can go ahead and exit out of here. The next thing you need to do is to get an FTP program on your computer. And you can use basically any FTP program you like, but there's one called FileZilla that I recommend. And you can get it from a site called PortableApps.com. And this site's a great repository for Windows applications that you can install as a portable app which means that everything is stored within one directory and nothing gets left behind on your computer which is uh, great. I much prefer that over a standard install. So once you get to portable apps, go to apps, scroll down to internet in the category here and find FileZilla Portable. Download it and go through the installation. And like I said, you can use any FTP client but I just prefer FileZilla. So I have it installed on my computer. Let me go ahead and get it uh, up on the screen here. And then we'll move to the next step. What I'll do now is I'll go ahead and uh, resize this window so that I get it within the, uh, the view here. Okay. Next thing to do is return to your iPad go to your iPad settings, click on Wi-Fi, click on the little I next to uh, your connection, and you're going to wait until it populates with the IP address that you have. So for me, the IP address of my iPad connecting to my home router is 192.168 dot 1.6 so I'm just gonna make a note of that and then I can exit out of my settings app next thing you want to do is to go back into FileZilla and connect to your iPad and the host will be the IP address of the iPad that you just got and the protocol you're going to use for open or for SSH is SFTP. So type in SFTP colon forward slash forward slash and then the IP address. So for me it was 192.168.1.6. The username for open SSH by default is root, and the password is Alpine. A-L-P-I-N-E. And for SFTP, you're going to connect on port 22 uh, rather than the normal, I think it's port 21 for just regular FTP. So once I type that in, it'll make the connection wirelessly as long as you're on the same network of course. And on the right hand side under remote site, you can see that this is uh, the file system on my iPad. You can browse around and go through different areas and uh, do what you want to do, but it's pretty powerful. It'll let you delete stuff that you probably uh, don't
don't want to and can mess up your, your file system. So the one thing that I usually do for this is to transfer my media files uh, to my iPad or documents or, or things like uh, ROMs for my uh, emulators. So for me, if I go into, uh, say, media, uh, this is the ROM directory, you want to be in var. Let me scroll down here. You want to be in mobile, media, game data. And then here's my uh, directory for my emulator for the Super Nintendo. And within it, I've made a subdirectory called ROMs, where you can see that I've stored all of my uh, ROMs for the emulator. And I basically just loaded them onto here using OpenSSH and uh, my FTP client here wirelessly from my computer into my iPad. And it works really well. Once you're done with what you need to do, just simply disconnect and you're back to normal. And that basically is how you use OpenSSH on your jailbroken iPad. So you might have come across that term and wasn't quite sure what that meant. Well, that's what it means. Good luck, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment.